Hi there. This is Dr. John Ritkin talking about the peptide epithelon or epithelon. This is interesting. Do you know what telomeres are? Telomeres is the junk DNA on the end of each of your chromosomes. Every time you duplicate a chromosome, the protein that duplicates the chromosome occupies a certain amount of space that can't be duplicated. That's sort of inside the machinery of the protein. And when you chop off the end of it, having duplicated it, you're left with a chromosome that's a little bit shorter. That leads to a theoretical limit called the Hayflick limit about how many times DNA can duplicate. So the Hayflick limit says that humans can only live to be about 120, and sure enough, that's what we see. We only live to be about 120, at the very oldest. All right. What is a pitalon? Well, it was found by a guy by the name of Kavinson in Petersburg at one of their research institutes in Russia as a three-peptide piece that got digested so quickly it wasn't really usable. But if you add another peptide to it, it becomes a four-peptide piece that's quite resilient. Now that makes it a tiny little peptide. But what's the net effect of it? Well, in humans from St. Petersburg, this is in humans, given after both heart attacks or just regular mortality. 266 people over the course of the next period of their lives, their mortality is reduced, if given just once, by about 30-40%. If given t several times, as much as 4.1-fold reduction in mortality. And with heart attacks, again, a dramatic reduction in mortality over the next couple of years. Now, these aren't huge studies, but there's no toxicity and there's no adverse side effects. And it correlates with what happens with animal studies that also show as much as a 30% reduction in mortality and 30% life extension of lifetime. Well, is there a means by which this could work? There may be. One of the explanations could be that there seems to be a dramatic increase in the amount of melatonin. Now, melatonin is one of our strongest cancer fighters, and as we get older, we make much, much less melatonin. I personally take melatonin every night at bedtime. You should too, by the way. But a pitalon might be a very interesting peptide. What will work for me? What am I doing? I've just taken my first six-week course of it. I intend to do that every year. And I'm offering it to every one of the clients in my practice. I think it should be an anti-aging strategy we all should think about. Is that based on hard science? Not really. These are tiny numbers in the studies from Russia. Do you trust the Russians? The studies from Russia aren't using huge numbers. One or two patients either way could change the percentages dramatically, which is why I don't quote perfect numbers. And that could have been a little bit squishy. But you know, if it doesn't have any side effects and has that dramatic an effect, I'm going to give it a try till better research comes out. Maybe you should too. Read more about it. Pay attention. Stay tuned. Epitalon. Lengthens your telomeres. Looking forward to hearing more. Dr. John Pitkin with News and Nutrition on Epitalon.